Here we are today on the booby trap. We're going to show you how to prepare a swordfish for the long ride home. First, we're going to start with this hand scrub brush here. We're going to scrub the outside skin of the swordfish. It's going to take all the black off. It's going to leave a very faint color whenever it's done. So we'll start that now and, and continue the process as we go. Okay, next we're going to chop the bill off here so, so we have more room to work with and we don't break our trophy off at the tip or anything. These bills can tend to be kind of fragile. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut them right behind the eyes in order to preserve the integrity of the entire bill. If you see, if you, if you look underneath here, you can see where the bill goes all the way back to about the eye. So we're going to we want to save that. That's still part of it. That'll be part of it when, it, when the insert falls out. So we'll knock this bill off and we'll keep going from there. This bill is now ready to go spend a couple weeks in the tank where this insert will fall off and all the trash behind will come off. Then it will be ready to be sent to Dan Matthews for some beautiful artwork. Now that the bill has been removed, we're going to knock these fins off in the tail just to keep it, to make it easier to roll around and uh, finish preparing this plug. fins have been removed we're gonna knock the head off here we're gonna start right behind these gills and we're gonna follow it up a straight line right in front of where the dorsal fin was Now to finish this procedure off, we're going to finish up by gutting her. Now when you gut her, you want to remove all those guts, obviously, and clean her up real nice on the inside. And right down the line of the spine, there's going to be a bloodline. If you cut that out, it further improves the quality of the meat. out the bloodline I was speaking of the spine runs right along here we're just gonna cut right down both sides of it and most of it will pull right out for you I have a little scrubbing a little more picking the hose water is necessary to get all of it out this makes a world of difference when you're cooking your fish, the taste of it. We'll take this same hand scrubber that we use to scrub the skin, and we're just gonna run it right up and down the spine and try to knock out what's left. Now this little fish plug is ready to go on ice for a long trip. Like this is, I've got 
got a, a large butcher style fillet knife. It's good for anything, it's not bone. I've got a serrated knife here. Get through the bones and I use a little bait paring knife to cut that bloodline out and do the gutting. This little scrub brush was necessary for the scrubbing skin and knocked all the blood out of the bloodline.